Have you ever struggled babying the money ball, meaning the nine ball, the 10 ball or the eight ball and missing the pot? This drill will definitely help you to lose fear of putting a firm stroke onto the nine ball when potting it. Without further ado, let me show you how it works. And this is the situation. Here's the money ball. In this case, the nine ball, you want to pot it. And maybe in some cases you are babying the ball like this and you start to missing the pot. And this drill is set up in order to avoid this. And that's the reason why we have the eight ball placed in the middle of the short rail on the top of the table and the nine ball is where it usually is. And the goal is that you pot the nine ball, get position onto the eight ball and then pot the eight ball and get back down to the nine ball. This drill has also an amazing add-on value because by placing the eight ball onto the short rail on the top end of the table, you can also practice perfectly to get down onto the nine ball. And this is commonly known as one of the most difficult situations to get back on to the nine ball, the 10 ball or the eight ball. Yeah, and this is how the drill works. You start off from the eight ball and I always try to leave myself an angle so that I can move the cue ball perfectly up onto the eight ball back again. And that's where you start to really improve because you stop waving balls. You need to hit the money ball in order to get back up on the table. So this drill back in the days when it was shown to me, it really helped me to lose fear. And another thing you see here is that uh, you really have to manage the cue ball perfectly. You need to work with spin. You need to know your angles or let's put it the other way around. You learn how to use the angles on the table. And same here, you see, maybe this time I don't need to put that firm of a stroke onto the nine ball. But again, I'm not allowed to, I, I can't baby the ball because otherwise I don't get up onto the table. So it's a nice, funny game to uh, lose fear of putting a firm stroke onto the nine ball or the 10 ball or the eight ball, whatever. So I think it's quite a good thing. And even here, like I had a very, very shallow angle. Of course, you need some luck. Like I had this, like I had at this point to get back onto the nine ball, but I've got another perfect angle. And to get back onto the eight ball, I need to put a firm stroke on to the money ball, like here. And yeah, that's how it is. And I get back up onto the eight ball. I got a perfect angle and I can move on. And again, I make it look easy, but uh, I'm not exaggerating. Or I'm not trying to like talk myself up. I'm not a pro, but believe me, it's not as easy as it looks. And you will uh, realize and understand when you are going to try it out yourself. So in this video, uh, I had a very good run. I also had some luck to make uh, some, some proper repetitions and yeah, just to get back up uh, onto the eight ball again, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But that's a good thing. It, it challenges you, it, it keeps you motivated and it keeps you focused because of course nobody of us wants to lose out. Another shallow angle, I put a ton of spin onto the cue ball to get back onto the nine ball and try to have some sort of angle. And so I can't remember properly what I did. Yeah, I, I drew the ball back up. I think I even put quite a lot of left spin, maybe a little bit too much left spin. But again, I was lucky here to have some sort of angle again. But if you just focus on the nine ball and how I hit the nine ball, um, I don't baby the nine ball. I'm perfectly, I, I really try to put a firm stroke onto the nine ball. And that's why I love this drill so much. And uh, honestly, I very rarely lose, uh, I very rarely miss a nine ball or a 10 ball or eight ball in a match. And maybe it's because of this drill. I'm not sure. I don't know, but it definitely helped me. And you see once more, there's quite a distance between the cue ball and the nine ball. I'm not going to baby the shot, of course, but this time I use different spin, try to get a little bit more straighter angle and perfect. Uh, angle again onto the eight ball and that's how it works and that's how it works so you you definitely lose fear 
of um, yeah, putting a thumb stroke onto the money ball, as mentioned before. And again, uh, you learn how to use spin, you learn how to um, yeah, use the angles of the table, the cushions, uh, you get a perfect feel for the table, for the speed of the table as well. So maybe I think it's also quite a good exercise to get to know a table uh, when you start uh, warming up uh, before a match or something. I think that's a perfect exercise, especially um, at a new place, at a new table, um, yeah, when you play league or whatever. I think it's a cool thing. And this drill uh, was shown to me by uh, proper players, like professionals. And um, believe it or not, this position I played on purpose. Because it's an educational video, I could have played it uh, different ways, but I just wanted to do something more interesting because otherwise it gets boring. And this is just like, uh, give it a shot, give it a try. So I just try to bank the nine ball into the side pocket just um, yeah, to give it a try and it worked out. Yeah, so um, of course I, I cannot do this 10 out of 10, but I just tried to do something a little bit more exciting, a little bit more special for you guys out there, uh, just to make it a little bit more exciting because otherwise the run is a little bit too boring. And also here it's a very shallow angle, very difficult pot, uh, a lot of deflection uh, on the shaft, but I, I did pot um, the eight ball perfectly. And if you bump into the eight, uh, into the nine ball like this, uh, this is not a deal breaker for the drill, uh, but you can set your own rules and however you want to play this drill, but it's, it's not a deal breaker. Uh, just try to yeah, keep the run going, uh, try to stay focused even on, yeah, obviously easier shots, but these are the shots you usually miss. And again, don't baby the shots. Try to, uh, yeah, trust your mechanics, try to trust your stroke. Same here, super shallow angle. I, I'm not sure if I even had some angle. So the only solution which uh, came into my mind right here was just to try to get the white tee a little bit out of the corner, even if it's just a couple of inches or centimeters like this, but just to get some sort of shot onto um, the nine ball. And I do know that, um, yeah, I can trust my mechanics. So if I aim properly, uh, I knew at this point that it's, it's more, more than not that I will make this shot. More often than not, I will make this shot. But of course, it's a difficult shot. And luckily, I made the shot. And I think I got sort of a good position onto the eight ball again. Yes. Yeah, and, and the run keeps on going. The run keeps on going. But again, this is not an easy exercise and um, because it's so difficult to, to get proper position on the eight. But the focus again is on potting the money ball and putting a firm stroke onto the money ball. And I think I missed this shot right here. I'm not sure, but I think I missed it. And yeah, and then the run ends. Yeah, thanks guys for, for watching this. Please also don't forget to follow poolbillards.co, one of the coolest practice platforms out there on the planet. And if you use my promotion code POCKETED, you even get 10% if you subscribe with them. And I also got some big news to announce in the upcoming weeks, but I want to keep the suspense a little bit up for the next period of time. Stay tuned, folks, and see you in the next video.